Hey everyone, so yesterday Articulate released Storyline 3, which is really awesome. A lot of people were um, kind of waiting with bated breath while um, when Articulate 360 came out. So when Articulate 360 came out, folks were given Storyline 360, and those who didn't want to subscribe to Articulate 360 were waiting for when are we going to get the new version? So today it's here and that's fantastic. One of the greatest features in Storyline 3 is going to be your closed captioning, which is huge for accessibility and 508 compliance, ADA compliance. And today I'm going to show you how to import an audio file with closed captioning in Storyline 3 or Storyline 360. So I didn't create my own closed captioning file, so what I used was based on a recommendation in the form was VideoBase. Um, it's free for machine credits, which means that a machine is going to transcribe your audio, so it may not be the most accurate. In my case, it was. Um, but you'll get so many machine credits for free, so I signed up for that uploaded and then you'll get an email that tells you once your transcription is available it looks like this um, so it's uploaded and transcribed you'll see your transcript here and then you'll be able to uh, there's a little download button um, I've already downloaded mine so my buttons not there but that's basically how it works it's pretty easy to use and so we're gonna go back to Storyline 3 and now the big thing here is that you need to make sure um, that, so I'm going to go to close caption, which is where I've saved these files. You need to make sure that both files are named the same. So we've got 2.10, 2.10. Um, VoiceBase allows you to download um, an SRT, a PDF, and I think an RTF file. So I chose the SRT file. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to save both of those files with the same file name in the same folder. And then we're going to um, go to the insert audio from file. We are going to toggle to our folder where we've saved our audio file. And then we're going to select our audio file and open. Now you'll see when you select that audio file in the audio options that you have your caption file automatically populated. So that's going to happen anytime you save your audio file and your transcript file in the same location uh, with the same title. So now when we preview this, we'll see our closed caption button. And when I click on the closed caption toggle, you're going to see the caption. So it's just as easy as that uh, to import an audio file with a transcript um, for closed captioning and you can also do this with video.